The Tang Dynasty succeeded the short-lived Sui Dynasty and ushered in a cosmopolitan golden age that began in 618 CE. However, any rise must be followed with a fall. Rebellions, wars, and anarchy would weaken the dynasty, and by the second half of the 9th century, this trend would only continue. In these times of chaos and uncertainty, there still stands men of moral character and virtue who believe in law and stability. A magistrate that went by the name of Hong Shi was expelled for digging too deeply into the corrupt habits of his superiors. He was sent to the west to the Longyu circuit where he wouldn't stir up much trouble. In the Tong dynasty, circuits were the highest level of administrative divisions. Newly married to the lovely Shen Yu, the two have had a difficult time adjusting to their new station. Three counties have been put under his control and his current ruler, Ying Lei, is known to be an insufferable man. Now it's our time to bring stability and to bring glory to the dynasty once more in the West. We will also be hosting a council where each of you will play the role of an advisor. Your job is to argue your ideas effectively on what should be done and to convince others that your plan is truly the ideal one. I'll read comments and on a following video, if there's any sound ideas, I'll go over and discuss them. Now I may agree or disagree, but we'll be doing this from the perspective of Hong and his own viewpoints. Here is where the story of Hong begins. He's only 21 years old, and he has quite a few good traits. He's going to need them if he's going to survive out here. Intrigue is not going to play a major part in our role. No, we're going to be just, we're going to use the legal code and honor to get ahead in life. Now he's only 21, he's got over here diligent, humble, fearless, giving him plus three to martial, plus one to intrigue. He likes vassals, but unfortunately, for any cowards or craven people, he doesn't like them. Hong is fearless to anyone or anything. And over here, he's a negotiator, which means mercenaries are cheaper for him to hire. Now, for our wife, Shen Yu, she's 18. She's actually a novice physician. She's going to perform that role for us. And these two are moderately attractive people. She's very well read for one. Over here, she's kind. She's not about scheming, but people generally find her affable. She's very, very sweet to others. She's evidently adorable, which helps out when it comes to diplomacy, intrigue, and attraction too. And she's also compassionate. So again, we're not really geared to using intrigue. We're here to be good people, which might prove to be difficult. So we do command Guajiao right over here. We have only 393 men. Let's have a look at our current religion, our current faith. Okay, so we've got new text Confucianism is a school of thought in Confucianism that was based on Confucian classics recompiled in the early Han Dynasty by Confucians who survived the burning of books and burying of scholars during the Qin Dynasty. The survivors wrote the classics in the contemporary characters of their time, and these texts were later dubbed as the New Texts. So now we know about that. Our fervor is going up, it's only at 50% right now, and naturally our culture is Han. We need to get a lot of things over here, I think. We do have some interesting cultural and regional innovations. Yeah, let's have a look over here. So currently we're in tribal. We have Chu Konu, which provides archers for us. Now that's going to be all about the repeating crossbow. So sorry, not archers, but rather repeating crossbow users. The repeating crossbow, known as Chu Konu, is an ingenious invention with an easy to use mechanism that can be operated by anyone. What it lacks in range of firepower, it more than makes up for in rate of fire. So now we have that. That's going to be really, really cool. So they're good over in desert mountains, mountains, and hills. Everywhere else we're going to have some issues, but our damage goes up regardless. Those are going to be quite powerful. Then over here we have Mandarin and Chinese characters. So we can get some rather interesting minute arms over here. Okay. Some bowmen. And some infantry too. I understand. Our development goes up. We can get cotton later. That would allow me to get cotton manners. Oh, that's a realm capital building. I understand. Yeah, those will be great to have. Then we have over here kinship clans. Okay, so it's a new type of succession. Can use a point air interaction when we reach the kingdom rank. Let's see, minute arms maintenance goes down by 30%. We get one more regiment. Their size goes up by three. Our levy size is down by 50%. But our garrison size goes up by 100%, so we do have benefits and, of course, penalties here. Alright, levy reinforcement, same faith, different faith, down by 50% and 80%. So, our culture is shaped by an agricultural lifestyle dated back to the Bronze Age of city-states. 
like our ancestors, the residences of most of our population, even of the nobles, are in fortified villages with fellow dynastic members or people with similar blood origins. Right. So we're all about that. Then over here, we've got classical era. Unlocks regional flavored buildings. Find them in a duchy building slot. Gotcha. Very cool. So we have a lot of stuff over here. Now, when it comes to what we need to work on, I can't choose that. Our grand commander right over here. He's the one we've got to watch out for. And he's got two sons we need to watch out for, too. They are intelligent. They have brains. It's true. He's craven. The other one over here, arbitrary, patient, and compassionate, really. And he's also ugly. Very ugly. Yeah, she's pretty nasty, too. They're not a very attractive people. Not at all. So, he's got very little power as well. For now, though, let's come over here. Why don't we pick up maybe a few perks when it comes to commanding? It feels important to me. We'll take that. Chivalry. Okay, stalwart leader for more prowess, and I don't want to die whenever we're fighting. I could get some control. It could be cheaper to declare war. I've got some options over here, but I want my knights and my warriors to perform quite well, which is what we're going to do. Now, we need some people to come fight for us. Over here, we've got five. Oh, you're pretty good. A minister of revenue. He's got 17. Good to know. Here's another Xiaowei. He's not very powerful, only five. So really, I've got one champion, and he's a very young man, so we'll keep an eye on him. The rest are very, very bad. Oh, they're going to die in combat quickly. And I can't really afford anything else. I've got some decent money coming in right now, and why don't we have a look over here at our lands? Oh man, we could get some really good stuff around here. Yeah, that looks good to me. We'll have to save up. Now, I won't be getting any type of buildings early on. That'll have to wait. A concubine. Now, I could get other women to have children with me, but I don't want to do that right now. In fact, we're going to potentially become soulmates with our current wife. That is what I want to do. You know what? I'm going to impress her by winning a sparring match. I can do that much. She's not going to resist my charms for long. And that'll be goal number one. Now, goal number two. What should that be? Well, I've got a few ideas, you know. I've got over here a leader who does seem to like me a lot. I could convert to the old text. That's true. I'll think about it in time. We're all about the new ways right now, but we'll try to get him to like us more later on. Now, here's a pretty decent fellow over here, Yu Yi Bei. At first, I thought the simple footman a fool for stepping into the training field. Although Yu Yi seemed noted at first, it quickly became clear that he would be unable to stop his wild and vicious strikes from hurting me. You know what? I'm not going to kill him. I could use more people like him. Come on and join me. He'll come fight for me. And you should probably get married too. Let's have a look over here. I think when it comes to culture, we need to maintain what we have right now. That to me seems rather important. There we go. Yeah, you two get married, sure. What about you, young man? You've got one barony. Understood. All right, hopefully one day you'll get married too. But there we go. We have a new fighter. Cats and dogs. I could say, fear not. I will always be by your side. We'll do that instead. She might not like a cat or a dog. All right. What shall I write about? I could write about many things over here. Her charming demeanor. I'll do that. I think I can do that. Ah, the very mention of your name is the balm for my weary soul. She didn't like it. Good. Now you can see over here, we've got many events too, which we're going to look at, like we can reform the Celestial Empire. But first, over here, my devotion will carry me through, and if I do that, I'll be starved for a little bit, but I could gain a lot more prestige. You know what? We've got power. We can do that. Oh no, I did succumb. All right, but I hear a scream now. Let's go try to save her if she needs saving anyway. There we go. She's now my soulmate. That's really good for me. I've got a decent amount of prestige, and over here we could use a good doctor. Now that's going to be her. It doesn't need to be anyone but her. Perfect. Ten gold gone. I'm still making some decent money. Who's rating? Your rating? In our lands? <laughs> okay then. I can't go after him yet. Maybe I could. I'm a better commander. If I were to get a claim over here, 
he's not known as being a stout and noble man and dear god not to be quite rude but his kids are interesting they are there are no other powers around me that i could easily take on maybe him sure maybe him i could get a claim over here it might take some time like two years but any land i could pick up right now would be ideal i'll have to wait a little bit to see what's going to happen oh there's already a liberty faction and there we go my wife is currently pregnant that is ideal that is good for me 938 i need more soldiers then we can go fight them now i've got 65 gold i need a little bit more oh those archers those crossbows i should say it says archer so you know why i'm reading it would be ideal i've got some other choices over here that are actually pretty cheap and i think i need to go down these routes in order to do well right these are spearmen We've got bowmen. Bowmen would be cheap, but I feel like I need some decent infantry. I think that would change up a lot. So we're going to come over here right now and grab decent infantry. I've got the prestige for it. Yeah, I'll do that then. They're not going to be cheap, and I do understand that, but we're going to have some serious power now. That is going to change a lot. They can counter a lot too. They're good in everything but wetlands, desert mountains, and the desert. But, let's see, over here in the mountains, their damage goes down by 10, but their toughness goes up by 10. Yeah, we're going to be okay. They're going to be okay. Right, about the empire over here, we can restore it. It'll take time, but we can certainly do that. It'll change up my government, too. Now, we also have the long used circuit. That shall take time. We'll get a kingdom. Do we have certain ambitions? We might not be able to do it within our lifetime, but if we could restore order, that would be a good thing. We could also restore order over here in the Western Protectorate. Now, these are lands that would take quite some time to take over. I mean, have a look at that. And over here, we've got Beijing as well. I would need Mongolia, which could be a dire challenge for many reasons. We could also found the Great Shia Dynasty. And we could also become the Defender of Morality, which I'm going to read about once we get closer to it. But I've got to become more devoted to, well, our ways. For now, though, I'm going to divine the stars. That is what I'm going to do. And what about over here? A Wu Ji ceremony. Gather scholars, teachers, witches within your realm and prepare a ceremony in Zhou Dynasty's way to save your troublesome soul. I could do that. I've got piety. Yeah, sure. Then if I want to, I can go on a hunt. I'll do that too. I need more elite soldiers if we want to do well. It's really not going to be about levies over here, but rather elite soldiers. Now, let's wait a little bit. So we have some raiders over here. I can't beat them yet. I want to, but he might be a bit much for me. He's not a bad commander. Uh-oh, injured. Bounding through the dry lands, I'm gaining on the powerful wolf I've been chasing for hours. But he's been hurt. You know what? I shall tend to him. I'm not going to be cruel. I'm here to treat him. And hopefully he'll feel better because of it. Okay. I've spent many nights looking up at the night sky tracking the movements of the celestial bodies. I am now confident in my prediction. The signs are clear. It is a time for new beginnings and open minds. I've gained open-minded for 10 years. Stewardship goes down by two, learning up by two. I'll change up my focus later when I'm able to. Ah, what a shame. But I did gain 150 prestige, and I still have a decent amount of money too, so I'm feeling pretty all right. Oh, she's about to have a child. Training a warhorse. As I inspect the stables, my gaze is drawn to a mare kept away from all others. Interesting. We'll do that. I could use a warhorse. Okay. Now, I could use my steady hand to tame that beast. I think I'm going to. Sure. I'm pretty good when it comes to diplomacy, but my prowess is also pretty darn high. I'm at 22. There. I now have a warhorse. Great. All right. Now, what am I going to name you? Inspired by history. I've got a few ideas over here. Let's keep on looking around. We'll change it to mythology. Achilles, no. These are really not suitable for me. <laughs> Fine. I'll choose one for... Hmm. Blue Boo. Red hair. How could I forget? I was hoping that we would have more, but, you know, the red hair will be sufficient, I think. All right, so now I'm 22. We're going to have a child very soon. 
And over here, we have another perk to pick up. I'm not here to, well, get people to fall in love with me. Never back down, we'll take it. My commander advantage has gone up, which is even better for me. All right, so now we just need a lot more money, I think. And here's my baby boy. We're going to call him Jishi. Oh, Shinyu, you've been so brave, so strong. Words cannot describe my love for you. And now we have a perfect little son, Jishi. There. All right, so he needs to be educated from day one. I'll educate him. He'll do a good job. And I've got a new perk too, King's Guard. I could use more knights, sure. What I do have right now, well, they're not very good. Okay, trusty mare. A renowned trainer has approached me after hearing rumors of my mighty mare, Red Hair. <laughs> I love that. Okay, why don't we focus on being stronger? We'll do that. Well, okay then, I've got a strong warhorse. My levy size has gone up by 10%. Not bad at all. Now what's over here? The way of the axe. The endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat. It is a dance that is as familiar as it is exhausting. To have my axe attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Interesting. I could become an expert. If I do that, two more prowess, I'll take it. I like that idea. I'm at 24 now. I'm very good at what I do. I've got one child already. And over here, if I want, I could get a claim. Sure. I'll do that. We're about to go to war. But not yet. Now, I've got 577 men. What's over here now? Oh, take care of my red hair. Naturally, you've got to do that. You've got to. I'm currently in debt, or I was in debt briefly. Now I'm not. I'll go to war very soon. We should be able to beat them. I've got very good soldiers. Now, I wonder. What are you two doing? Okay. You're fighting someone who is not very powerful. He's right over here. I could have taken him on, too. Maybe I should have. He's not a bad man. He's a pretty good commander, but a very poor fighter. Dear God. You are a very poor fighter. And you. You've got the pox? Yep. Sounds about right. Now, over here, I have only one claim, but it's okay. It's going to benefit us a lot. Let's get everyone together. All right, I've got a decent commander, but it's got to be me. I shall command today. I've got nine champions total. Two of them are very good, though. Incredibly good. All right. We're now ready. Let's go into battle. I've got to become a better commander over time, though. I need to be able to cross boards or whatever I want. 574 men. I'm going to save up and get another men-at-arms group very darn soon, I think. Yeah, right now, we're not unified, and I've got to rely on trained men. The world at large, well, there's a lot going on. My goal is to conquer anything around us right now. Akse will be step number one. Okay, our battle does begin right over here. They've got light horsemen, but they're fighting in bad terrain. When it comes to my heavy infantry, they're fighting in bad terrain, but they're countering light horsemen. They're gonna be okay, I think. Now get them now. You can do it. There we go. That's a good beginning. And that battle has been won. Look at that. They were torn apart too. We got them. We just need to besiege now. Okay. We lost how many? 64 men. They lost 147. Good job. Shell weighs 94 kills total. 31 by Yu Yi. Yeah, you're very good too. You're only 21 and you're so good at what you do. I'm very proud of you too. All right. Now, what have we done to them? We have taken out so many. Look at that. Many have been captured. You're not bad. You can marry into one of our lines, I suppose. All right, we're done here. Let's go now and besiege. It'll take me a short period of time. And by the way, I have a daughter. She's right over here. Okay, Jian? That shall be your name, Jian Shi. They're back again to fight me. She's trying very hard. Our commander advantage, 35. Hers, 14. She is not going to get very far. Ooh. And it's all over. I mean completely over. They were completely destroyed in that battle. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's have a look at my child. Who's going to educate you, small child? It's not going to be me. 
It should probably be your mother. There we go. She's very well read. Now, we could get some alliance going on later. I'll think about it. She's very young, so I do have time. I do have time to think about it. But we're about to win. I've got a new perk already. Courtship. That wouldn't be bad, I suppose. Yeah, we'll take that. We could do that right now. Let's go back again. All right, 98%. Only a few months to go. They might charge back in. They could. They're going to lose a lot if they lose our current board or their current board. What's over here? Okay, so you want me to meet someone. Interesting. You've got a claim, too, on Kucha. I wonder. Oh, no. That is very far away. You may go for now. I cannot help you. I know it angers you, but I've got to be forthright and direct, too. All right, so we're back over here. Oxe now belongs to me, and we have won. They're coming back in to fight me. We've got one more battle to win. I could call on now, but I'm not going to. What now? My boy is currently three. He's a very calm child. Interesting. That makes him pensive. Plus one to stewardship and plus one to learning. He's a very handsome boy. Good for him. All right. We have won. That war is over. We did it. We have gained more territory. And so we grow in power now. My leader over here has 627 men. He's not very powerful, not at all. Are you okay? Are you gonna make it, pal? Your kids are terrifying. <laughs> Interesting. I'm not gonna look at them. They do frighten me. Now I wonder who should lead over here. I don't like many of you. We could go by learning. It could be him not part of my dynasty I'm aware but I do have a vote that's my vote for right now could change it up later we shall see in time okay so we won and they are done yeah that gave me some power okay I could feudalize over here but that wouldn't be cheap <laughs> no that wouldn't be cheap at all I could grant it to someone too I'm probably gonna do that instead that would be easier for me. I've got over 500 men right now. My soldiers are back home. And let's have a look over here. We've got someone who's very well read. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Why don't you marry her? She's very well read, too. All right. We've got a steward who's not very good. I could use a much better steward. Chancellor, you're not very good either. We're going to hire people based on merit. Yu Yi is very good. Look at that, 24. Yeah, that'll work out. What about my spy master? Not into intrigue, but we do need to watch out for the shadows, you know. All right, that should do it for now. Now we just need to build up a little bit. I don't want more people to let me right now. 502 men. A very good beginning. I've got a third son already, Kaishi. And over here we have a new event. My Chancellor, Zong Yan, has worked hard to convince our neighboring realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with the High Chieftain is flawed. It's over now, but I do not have a proper claim. If I did, I would go fight again. All right, now for you, you deserve land, I think. There, there's your foo. But hold on, I'm gonna wait actually. I don't need him to leave. I was gonna give it away, but forget about it. <laughs> That would be a bad choice. I don't need him to go away. Oh, you're in prison already? What did you do? I really do wonder what he did. But he's in prison now. I'm not going to pay for you. You're not leaving. Not today. Oh, he's married. What an interesting coupling. I don't much care for it. I've got to tell you that right now. What now? Oh, you want me to become your spy master? I mean, I don't really want to do that. I feel like Eddard Stark right now. It's really not my position, but I'll have to take it for now, I suppose. Now, here's a war. There are peasants who are coming after our leader. I've got to go fight him, but where are they at anyway? I would have gone after them, but they're just around somewhere. I'll have to look for them. We do have a lot of territory now. He's got the most power, 742 men. Our leader has 581 men. Yeah, they're somewhere. If they come back, I'll go get them. For now, though, we're just going to save up money, and we're going to be okay. But I've got quite a few sons, and oh, there they were. Yeah, that was very easy and quick. 
I've got more gold. Look at that. Title laws. We've got a lot of laws over here helping me make a lot. It's a really good thing. Another boy? You're kidding me. Wow. Now, what am I going to call him? Song Shi? There. Song Shi. That'll do it. Now, who's going to educate him? That's a good question. I've got options. It's going to be my wife again. I've got so many kids. Okay, you've got 1,162 men. I still don't have the proper manpower to go after you. I wish I did, but I certainly do not. So I'm going to have to wait a little bit. We're not making money over here. I've got to change things up. And I do want to. Now, I could give it away for right now and let someone else develop it. All right. We're going to focus on getting gallant. Yeah. That is what we're going to do right now. And for a good proper alliance, I wonder what would be the most beneficial. So over here, we've got a power over to the west. Oh, over 1,000 men. You've got 1,300 men. What about you? 1,200 men. If I could conquer everything over here to the northeast, I feel like that would be a good basis. Which means I need someone close by. You've got one child who's not married. Well, a grown man. You don't want that? Okay. That's a shame. I wonder what I could do. A different religion marrying down. That's true. I've got to have a bit more power for things to work out like that, I think. All right, now what about you? No? I'll have to wait. I need one proper title, I think. See it done? 75 gold? I would rather get a claim on the entire duchy. Could try again, I suppose. Yeah, we're going to have to. He's not bad at his job. And 45 gold for my steward. Well, thank you. All right, what's over here? Ah, okay. You like me more, as you well should. You've got over 600 men. You've got some power, too. We could ally, actually. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, why don't we ally? Done. Now I have a good friend over here. And I could fight someone and take control if I wanted to. I've got ideas on what we should do. I've got 163 gold right now. Now my leader has how many? Over 700 men. But I don't have a proper claim on a duchy. He's got 911 men, which is really shocking. He's only expanding. And I've got to stop him somehow. If I go after you, I would become independent. But that wouldn't be a good idea right now. And I can't wait to go after you. Dao Xing. It would cost me 500 gold to feudalize that county, so I'm not going to do it. I gave it away to one of my boys over here. Good luck to you. Now I can train my red hair again. All right. Why don't we work on fierceness? You can do that. And done again. Strong and fierce warhorse. Plus two to my commander advantage. That seems to be really good. All right, so you're beginning your own faction right now. Oh, I can't wait to get your territory. That would be great. Oh, you've got your own faction too. Evidently, everyone wants to be their own leader. I mean, I do as well, so I can't blame them. He's currently 55. I'm currently 30. We've got four kids total. Yeah, treat my mare again. You just wait until I get a bit more power. All right, fine. You know what? We'll take it. I've got to take what I can. If I don't, it's going to be a pain, but we need to go find him. All right, so you've got 845 men. I need more, too. Now, I've got to choose something that won't break my bank right now. Pikeman could be handy. Well, hold on. Let's have a look at what he has, okay? He's got bowmen. All right. So we need to counter archers. I don't have to really worry about archers too much, I think. I mean, I could just grab my archers, my Chukonu. They could really deal some serious damage. You know what? We'll take those. And yeah, sure, there goes a lot of my money. I'll wait to have 100. Then we'll go fight him. Then he's going to lose. My Marshal Yu Yi has been showing off a promising new recruit. Good job. He's strong. He's one aspiring blade master. He's got 20 prowess. We need to hire him. Now you've got to convert to join me. If you have a look over here, you can also see... I've upgraded this group by quite a bit, using my prestige. It won't be cheap, sure, but I'll be able to win a good war. So now we just need to wait a little bit for them to build up. 
Now you've got to be married to someone lovely. There you go. I'm going to watch over your family too. Yi Shun, Yu Yi, and over here, Ao Chu. He's only 28, but he's not married, unfortunately. I wish he would get married. All right, so now we're just going to wait for a little bit until we're ready to go fight. Look at that. Now here's why I need more men, and my wife is once again pregnant. Only one wife and so many children. We're very good at that. Have a look over here. Their garrison has 550 men. If I don't have over 550 men, I won't be able to besiege you men. And if I can't do that, I can't win the war. Also, I'll be fighting the most powerful faction in our kingdom. Now, what's over here? Now, I want to claim on a duchy. Okay. My son and heir has been impressed with one of the household Xiao Wei's for a very long time. And he finally met him. Okay, that warrior told him, work hard and you can master anything. Sure, be diligent. You should be. I know I am. Now we have Peacemaker, so I only need a war score of 90, not 100. Very good. Yeah, that's very good. Gained level of devotion. I am known for my dedication to my faith. And right on time. My Grand Commander would like for me to convert. I'm very sorry, but I cannot do that. Oh, your daughter died in what? Childbirth. She was married to a very handsome man. They had quite a few kids together. I am very sorry you had to marry her. I mean, look at him, look at her. For God. Anyway. I just need to build up a few more soldiers. I have a new daughter. Ying Tai. That's a good name. Now, who's going to educate her? That's a good question. It's got to be someone who is very well read. You. It shall be you, Tai. Okay, now what about my men over here? We've got 500. That should do it. We've got the manpower, and my faction is currently fighting two other kingdoms. That's okay, though. They are winning. They don't need me. But have a look at him. 53 years old, 718 men. Our leader has... Oh, you do have more men now. Okay. Yeah, not bad. You've got a lot of bowmen. Onagers, too. I could use some onagers. I really, really could. But I don't want to use up all of my money. Not yet. Then again, my minute arms are cheaper, so I should probably get more. Yeah. You know what? We'll do it. We'll do it right now. I think I'm being way too conservative with my money. I'm so used to not being able to get that many elite soldiers, but for our faction, I've got to have more because I'm never going to have a lot of levies. It is about time for that war to begin. I've got the power. I've got the manpower. Over 1,000 men. I should be okay. Let's bring everyone over here. We'll go take one location. We don't need to stay out there. We don't have to do that. I can't wait to get more Asian-themed DLC for India and otherwise. I think pretty soon I'll try out some type of ruler over in India. I'll see what mods are out there too because I'm very curious and I want to learn more. Essentially, if I don't know a lot about any type of location, setting, or whatever, I do a lot of reading. I mean a lot. I watch documentaries, I read articles, whatever I can to try to really familiarize myself with that era. And India is a really weak point for me, so I do want to engage in that one. Alright. Now... Let's go over here and besiege away. We've got to do that. The Tang Dynasty is actually one of my more favorite eras for Chinese history, too. I find it fascinating. All right. We're going to fast forward a little bit. They're probably going to move over here to the west. Ooh, look at that. Jin of Lingjiao. They're coming over here. Now, after they take that location, they might come after me, so I've got to avoid them. 1,800 men is probably a little bit too rich for my blood right now. But there we go. Three months to go. What now? You want to love me? I do not blame you, but be gone! I am a loyal and honorable man. You can't do that to me. It is not allowed. I don't even have concubines right now. Oh. You don't like me, Baron. Okay. I'll get him to like me. That'll work out. Great mustache, by the way. He's actually not a bad commander. He's not a good fighter, but he's not a bad commander. All right. Two months to go. Oh, yeah. They're moving into my territory. And we are good and done over here. Let's go after that army. 
I'm gonna go take the mountains close by. I don't want them to take those mountains. If they do, that could be quite annoying for me. But if they take my capital, well, I can go defend over there. All right, cool, we're getting closer. Now we can meet over here. Very good, we'll go down to three speed. I'm trying to be quite careful because I've only got a small army right now. Let's take care of it. I'm getting older now, 34. Oh, have a look at that. I'm not commanding right now, but nine champions. Three great ones, too. All right. They better not die on me. They've got how many bowmen? 600. Wow. What's over here now? I'm not stressed out. I will stay for a while. Sure. I'm going to command for our next battle, if we have another battle. Okay, a library where the books are stacked in corners, unfinished building projects all over the place. Oh, it's very messy. Oh, I'm not going to take your gold. We'll talk about the books over here. There, done. I got his son and heir. How about that? Oh, he's in trouble now. Let's move back real quick. I don't actually need to move out anymore. I could wait over here. I could even get rid of my army if I wanted to, for now. Okay, bound books, loose documents, decorated spines. After a lot of reshuffling, there is finally some semblance of order in the chaos that is Baron Leibn's library. Okay. Over here, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not going to do more. He likes me a bit more for helping out. You're welcome. I mean, cleaning someone's home whenever you come to visit can be quite rude, but evidently he didn't really care. So now, unless they come to fight me, I can gather gold. Because I took what I needed to take. No. What I want right now is a good duchy title. Hold on. He doesn't really have a duchy title, does he? Or does he? Okay, good. He does. All right. So I need to get that title. Yeah. Here's what I need right over here. If I could take that somehow, that would give me control of so much territory. It's really what I need. G. You need to be brave. Good, he's brave. What about you? I could try to go after what you have. Yeah, he's got a title I want. If only I could vote for myself, but it's only his kid, so I can't just take it like that. Otherwise, I would try to. But I do want his title. I need one more county. Interesting. Okay, good to know. I'll definitely take more. Yeah, that's all over here. But I can't take it from him directly. I'm not going to betray him right now. As much as I might want to take it from him. Yeah, over here is the Duchy of Oxe, so that wouldn't have helped me out. Not at all. The trusty mayor. I am not interested. My training has been sufficient. A demonstration of leadership. My vassal, the Baron, has been hovering around my council meetings lately. We can talk about methods of communication. Or, instead, we should go greet some recruits. There we go. Alright. It is over now. I have gained more territory. I am now more powerful than I used to be. That gave me more men, too. Okay, you've got 12 prowess. Let him come serve me. Sure. He's not really that powerful, but... Let's convert him right now. There we go. Let's have a look over here. You can marry someone. Let's have a look at our cultural groups. Why don't we do that? My spy master. Sure. You two can be married. And I have a new perk. I'll take up Gallant. Plus two to Marshall. Plus four prowess. More prestige. More attraction opinion. We are doing much better now. Okay, that war is not going well currently. You've got 1,500 men. I might be able to beat them. I'll have to look and see. I'm not too sure. I would like to go after him again. I can't murder him. That would be wrong. I wonder if I could go after... I can go after you. True. Very true. Could change up things. It really depends. What do we have over here? Oh, it's a tribe holding. Hmm. Tribe holdings are not going to be great for me to have directly. I mean, I could conquer that and add it to our overall power. I'll think about it. Over here, they're losing two wars. Yeah, I'll really need to think about who my children might marry. My boy over here is 12, so we've got a few years to wait. 
He's handsome. He's actually a pretty good fighter. He likes big cats. Okay. <laughs> He's brave, pensive, and diligent. What a great kid. That's my boy. Look at who's coming into my territory now. Well, I can't abide by that. If you want to come over here, I'm going to have to come beat you. And this time, I'm coming to command. Wow. Look at that. 35 for your commander advantage. No wonder you're a frontline general, but you have a high chance of dying in battle. Interesting. No, I've got to go. It's up to me today. Oh, they're moving back. All right, very well. If you don't want to come over here, that's all right. I can wait for you. They'll probably move around. I won't let them into my territory. I can protect my people. I can do that much. The war is about to end anyway. There. I wonder how much territory we're going to lose overall. It could be a decent amount. I haven't really looked at it yet. Alright, we're back in. 595 men up north. I'll go beat them. We'll go beat them right now. Oh... They did gain some power, but now my rival has been weakened. And you were imprisoned. I wonder if you're going to survive. I've been waiting for him to pay for many of the prisoners I have. Come on, pay for them. Like, no, I'm cheap. I don't want to. All right. Let's come over here now. We'll take care of that. I'm just here to make some money. No, you can't raid. I won't let you do that. I've got the power to stop you. Hold on. Someone else is fighting. I was going to take care of it, but that'll work too. That gave me 15 prestige, 7 piety. Those weren't my losses either, which is great. All right. Disband army. There we go. Now you want to pay for yourself. That'll work out. So Leong Zhao. He's also Han. Not of our religion, though, which I do not like. That will have to change in time. Now, you're not dead. I could see that much. I've got to get a proper claim. Hopefully in time, that'll happen. Okay, we could use some control over here. It'll take three years total, but that's okay. I don't want to have internalized rebellions. And what now? The commandery. All right. Could be him. Did our old Grand Commander die? No, he's still around. He's currently 62. Oh, your other son died. He was killed in battle. Really? Oh, man. You killed him. Young Zhao, you took a lot from us already. And what about you? What do you have going on? Ah, you're right down over here. He's not Han. That's okay. Now, I've got some money. I could build something over here in my capital. Farms and fields. You know what? I think I might do that very soon. Maybe not yet, but very soon. Because right now I'm losing money, so I don't want to spend all of my money. Oh, you're very good when it comes to intrigue. We're going to wait, though. I was shocked when I caught G trying to steal from the travel chest of my Minister of Revenue. No, I don't want you to lie. You've got to be humble. Good. Now he's a very well-rounded kid. What's over here? You would like to ride upon my red hair. You know what? I'll let you. He likes me a lot now, which can only benefit me. Okay, you are 39. You have one child over here. He's 14. He's a fan of lizards. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. We'll get him married right away. We can do that much. What about you? All right. She's got the pox. I wonder how. They have no kids yet, and you are not married. You have no one in your court, so he's unable to be married. What a shame. He's a pretty good fighter. Oh, well. Maybe one day. Yeah, the Grand Commander is still very much alive. I thought he would die very young, but no, he is not. Kai, you need to be diligent. Good. That's only going to help him out. All right. Over here, you have very limited land now. I could easily beat you. I just need to wait for that truce to go away. Then I could go after him again. I don't need to get more soldiers. I'm making more money, which is a great thing. I'll come back over here. I only have that one person in my court who I could invite in. And hopefully we'll get a duchy claim. What's over here? Darn. No, we're not getting it. It'll take me two years. 
which is a long time. I'm only getting older. I'm currently 37. My kids are all growing up, though. Oh, hold on. Let's have a look over here at my religion. So we've got quite a few virtues. Dull is a sin. Shrewd is a virtue. Okay. Over here we've got Chun Chiu. And it reduces law cost by 10% for each virtue a ruler has. Really? That's crazy. We can have cousin marriage. Okay, we can legitimize bastards. Understood. We cannot get ahead of faith title. We need a few holy sites around here before we can do that. Okay, so now I have general goals to go after. Oh, these are pretty far too. Suyab, Kotan, Counselor Opinion up by 10. That's really interesting. Okay, let's go back over here. In time, I'll spread more of our religion, but it's gonna take me a while. Yeah, locally, not a lot of people follow our ways, but I can change it up. I can make that happen. Come back over here real quick. Okay, authority amongst thoughts. Stewardship education can lead to special traits. Really? Oh, I like that. Okay, so I've got to look for that one. If one does exist, the head of faith can declare a great holy war. All right. Absolute monarchy. Law costs go up by 50%. Domain limit up by one. And over here, interactions between heaven and mankind. All right, here's what we're going to do, I think. It's about time to divine the stars. We need to know what might be there in the future. I've got some money. I've got some time. Why don't we find out? I mean, he already likes me a lot. I don't think I really need to worry about that. And Uji will do that too. Making new friends. Okay, my marshal goes down, but my diplomacy goes up. My lifestyle experience goes up. I'll spend a bit of piety. I've got plenty of piety, so I'll do that. I have a new perk already. Here we go. It'll be cheaper for me to declare wars, which is what I need right now. Now, I could change it up. I could come over here to diplomacy. Oh, people would like me a lot. Groomed to rule. Family focus will do that for now. I've got kids, but why not have more? And I would like to go on a hunt. I can't do any of my major decisions yet. I hope I live for a long time. That would be nice. Hunt the boar. Okay, you're joining me. Let's go. We ride today. We've got to press on. I am now widely known. I've gained a level of fame. Look at that. I'm currently distinguished. And we got it. Great. We can go back home now. That would be ideal. 150 prestige. There, 701. I'm currently 37. I don't need more kids. My vassals are not very powerful. And let's see. Assign holdings? No. I mean, I could absolutely do that, and one day I might even think about doing that, but for now, we'll leave it alone. Elections would not be the worst way to give over lands. Oh, you want to lead? Your wife died in childbirth. That's really dangerous, huh? Yeah. No kidding. Look at that over here. I've got to choose one person. Who should rule? It could be him. He would be the elder child. Okay, so we're going to call it here for right now. When we're back, well, we'll see what our goals are. It'll take some time to find out, but thank you for watching, everyone, and look forward to more later on. And until then...